Okay, so let, let's talk about um, uh, art assets. Um, one thing we've definitely seen, you know, with many students, and I think are holding a lot of students back is uh, the the management of art assets that often becomes enormous piles of tickets in, you know, for example, you know, Jira, and it just costs an enormous amount of time, but also it's just very inefficient in other ways. Um, the way we think about it is that. Um, you know, an art pipeline is really you know many workflows um, you know together, and and that can be handled in a different different way in Favro. And uh, Patrick, I think I think you have a great example of this uh, from from real production. Yeah. So what we do with most of our assets, they start off as a concept. So we go through the the concept workflow, where uh, we come up with it, we get a brief, it gets approved, and the real magic comes. Uh, we try to keep everything as one card. So instead of having a, an explosion of tickets for any particular thing, we try to keep everything in, into one card. Um, but the magic happens when uh, the concept is delivered. So once it's delivered, what the art director could do is drop the card into one of these uh, slots here on our Kanban board. And when that happens, uh, the card actually gets distributed to different workflows that different teams are looking at. So we have uh, ones for modeling, animation, uh, props, that sort of thing. So if we take take a look at the deer here, we can see that it was a concept. It's delivered to our NPC workflow. Uh, once that happens, we have an automation that adds them to these uh, different boards. So we have the creature kind of pipeline. Uh, we have NPC animations, and since this is an asset that we're looking for for this next release, it also shows up on our 2024 release roadmap. And everything's centralized, so uh, people could just look at the one card. They don't have to go around and find collections of tickets to see um, what we need for anything. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. So you can see here, like I created a little test. We could just drop it into uh, this workflow, and then you'll start seeing it get populated in here. So it shows up on here, and then when teams do their sprint planning or pull stuff onto their uh, squad boards, they could just look, pull it from here, and it's really convenient. All right, great. 